All right, it's been a long time since our last video. I lost my voice, I apologize about that, but we are back. We're gonna get right into our non-objective art. It's a fun, easy activity using shapes, lines, and colors. Also, look out this week for Canvas. I'm going to put some review material on there so you can see what you know, what you may need to focus on uh, coming up for our end of the year test in April and May. So let's get right into that non-objective. Here we go. All right, you can use any type of medium for this assignment. We got our paper here. I'm going with the thicker paper because I've chosen to use markers today. You can use colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have at home, but you do want to use colors. And the cool thing about non-objective art, abstract art, is you can do whatever you want as long as it's not recognizable. And that means when you look at it, you shouldn't be able to tell what it is other than just shapes, forms, lines, and colors. So we can start anywhere we want. I don't want you to copy exactly what I do here. I want you to come up with your own ideas and just use this as inspiration. So, good examples of shapes. Circles. Another good thing about this kind of art, your circles and squares and rectangles and triangles, they don't have to be perfect. It's whatever you want to do. Put a little rhombus over here. And I can leave them open like this, or I can color them in. We can also make them three-dimensional. Whatever you want to do works. All right, I mentioned some lines. Make it look like that line is behind there. as many colors as you want to. I like to do a lot of overlapping to create space. Space shows distance. I'll color this one in. And so I'm gonna just keep adding lines and shapes and colors, some forms. You know, forms are 3D shapes, like a dice, a cube, a sphere, a prism. my triangle in the background. And we're just gonna keep going and going and going, adding these shapes. Creating our own sense of unity and movement. A lot of movement in these types of arts. All right, I'm gonna keep adding some stuff here and then I'll show you the finished result. Again, I don't want you to completely copy mine. I just want you to be inspired. We're looking for shapes, colors, and lines. All right, here's my finished little piece of non-objective art. This is a very modern type of art, but believe it or not, there are artists out there that make a living making art just like this with paint and canvas. So I'd like for you to Try this your own. I'm sure some of you have already done this. If you're in the Zoom, I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. So you can go ahead and post yours up. And again, I'm gonna post some review questions and information online. It'll be by grade, so everyone will have a little bit different stuff to look at. And I'll give you a little bit more instructions on that on Canvas. All right, remember next week is spring break. And then after that, we'll have a new assignment. See you soon.